no man know the day or the hour of the Lord. Jesus is returning. I just want to touch on that a little bit. Uh, let me read the scripture right quick. It says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then would I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Now, this scripture right here is like, I'm finna, I'm finna tell you what God showed me, and you'll understand why I'm, I'm saying the scripture. No man know, like I said, no man know the day or the hour the Lord is coming back. And what God showed me personally is that reason why no man know the time or the day that He's coming back is because we're gonna call Him back. We're gonna call Him back. We're gonna call Him back. Like that's why nobody know the day, the hour. Nobody know that. No, God said he will hold no good thing from us. And that day is a good thing. Why would he not hold no good thing from us, but still not tell us the return, the day, the hour his son is supposed to be turning? But he told me that he, he we will call him back. The people, the saints of God will call him back. Now I'm going to read the scripture again. It says, if my people who are covering my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked then what I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin and I will heal the land. And also, and to this, he also reminded me while, you know, you know, the Lord reminded me when I'm seeing stuff, he got to remind me of his word. So I would not take what I see, what my flesh see and turn it into something else. Yeah, he was saying to me that, um, that the fervent prayer of a righteous is powerful and effective. And so, knowing that the prayer of a righteous is powerful and effective, this also confirms that uh, we're going to call him back. And when I say we're going to call him back, the Lord showed me a dream. I was in a dream. I saw myself in Jerusalem. And I saw myself sitting on this high building. I don't know, was it a church or synagogue? I don't know what it was. It was a high building in Jerusalem. And I saw many Christians, many Jews, different uh, race, different races, different tongues, tribes, all kinds of people there. And then, if you look down from the top building, I saw armies. I saw armies of people with guns and tanks, getting ready to getting ready to uh to kill everybody that was on top of the roof. They had their guns pointed. They had they they lasers, snipers, or whatever you want to call them. They had guns pointed up. They had gun pointed up. It was dark. There was no stars in the sky. As I when I was seeing this. It was dark, no sun, no uh, stars in the sky, no sun, no moon. It was none of this. And the only light that I saw was the light that the people had. Like they, I guess they had like giant flashlights and stuff. And it was like some big old laser lights that was pointed up to this tall building where the Christian Jews was. And they was finna get ready and um, kill them. And you know, I, I, you know, like I said, I saw myself up there with the people, and I said, I saw this dream. I saw this in a dream before. I saw this day in a dream before. I told them, I saw this day. I, I saw this day in a dream before. Oh, everybody, grab hands and pray. Let's pray. And you know how the Bible says, when there's two or three gathered in the name, there might be miss. Well, it was more. You know, it was more than two. It was like a whole bunch of people sitting on this building, crowded up, and everybody trying to hold hands. We were all together. Praying in the greens. And as we were praying, I was telling them, I saw this day before. I saw this day before. Pray. Pray that Jesus come back. Pray that he would come. And then as we, as I saw myself praying with them, the Lord returned. He returned like we called him back in prayer. God heard the, the powerful prayer. Like he heard the repentance. He heard, he heard our voice. He heard our cry. He heard our sincerity. Like he heard us. And he sent his son back for us. It was like, it was like so amazing. Yep, so now, like, I, cl I can understand why the Lord haven't uh, revealed the day. I understand it, but God is waiting for a ready people. He's waiting for a ready people. He's waiting for a ready people. And does that mean God is going to wait for everybody to get to? No, he will not wait. He will not wait. He will hear the righteous prayer. If the righteous, if all the righteous people that's on earth now come aware of the word of God, know, know that the word I be preached across the world first. But if, if the people get together and pray Jesus back right now, I'm telling you, he will come back. I'll, I mean, the word, I mean, of course, the word got to be fulfilled. The word has to be fulfilled. But, I mean, it's, it's basically there. All the words is mostly uh, fulfilled. The prophecy, most are fulfilled. It's very few prophecies that are left that need to be fulfilled. Yeah, but that's what I just want to talk about for a little bit. 
yeah, but this one I'm finna end this video on. No man knows that I will, but I just saw us calling the Lord back.